What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to another day of the Elden Ring Now Fest. So similar to yesterday, we got three hours. Uh, we're going to be going Zug Zug, but we're going to be doing it as a Bloody Wolf. So the Bloody Wolf just has better stats uh, to do the Zug. So it'll make more sense for us to uh, play as this. I mean, if we look at, at basic stats, you know, Faith, Arcane, and Int aren't really wasted at all. I already got 16 strength. Uh, compared to the guy that starts with the axe, uh, he has like 15 Faith, I believe it is. This game comes out in February. with uh, Oro. He's going to come by and drop some stuff. But until he's in. I feel like maybe I should run and grab my mount real fast. Yeah, well, we kept... We, it's on public, but we kept it on uh, one day subscriber, which I think I might stick with that because that means that, you know, anytime someone shows up to the stream, if it's their very first time at a stream... They're not going to be able to talk. Um, so I think that that should be a good in between, like a halfway to the members only, but also making sure that there's no trolls or just, you know, people being dicks in the chat. So we can just focus on pure, delicious Elden Ring gameplay. I feel like I'm speed running this. I'm grab that thing for the twin blade. Why hasn't anyone made a all power stance weapons video? It just seems too cool. Uh, I mean, the, honestly, the, the the basic reason is, which I guess isn't much of a reason because Oro's coming in with a uh, a mule, but you would need someone to drop you plus one of certain weapons, like. There is no, uh, so like playing by yourself, you can get one twin blade. You can only get one. Uh, there, there's quite a few weapons that you can only get one of, uh, if you're playing by yourself. That's basically what it comes down to. The katana is unique. Uh, the twin blade is unique. Uh, the bastard sword is unique, but there's a different great sword you can get in the game. So basically there's just, uh, you know, it, it's you. You need to have somebody that is running around, um, you know, dropping items for you. Which, for us on the streaming side of things, yeah, it's possible if we had done it uh, back when it first launched. Now it seems a little bit late uh, to that party. Summon spells. You can only use it once per per bonfire. We're going to focus a lot more on, um, we're going to focus a lot more this stream on, like, focusing pure melee, as opposed to, like, getting in fights and pulling out spells that decimate stuff. Just kind of give you what a, a, uh, a dedicated melee experience is going to be like. And yes, you can power stance the katana. You can power stance everything. Have a switch. I turn to a you to the f then it's a I be the tree. Got my steed. We are going fast. I think strength melee builds are at a disadvantage in PvP in the network test. No, I think uh I mean PvP is PvP. I think it's it's fair game for everybody. You know, I mean magic's always been like the thing with magic is yeah, you can look at magic and be like, oh man, magic's really strong in PvP. But if you run up on that dude and uh, beat his ass, magic ain't that strong. 
usually strength it's easier to uh, get get aggressive get aggressive with melee All right, we got to get something real fast before we can. I need to get my first axe and make it plus three before O will be able to drop another axe that is plus three. Uh, so fastest way. We're going to go to the giants first. That'll give me most of what I need. Actually, that might be enough that I can... Do we get? Do we get? 100? Yeah, that should be enough for me to get my first axe. I am caught. So yeah, the axe damage is actually weaker. That's okay. I'm not even gonna go into the graphics stuff today. I've, I've made my point on why the graphics are fine. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> uh, FromSoft isn't going to delay the game a year just to make things look shinier, so... People are either okay with how it looks, and they can move on with their lives, or they can pout about it, and it doesn't matter because nothing's going to get changed anyway, so... That is that. Yeah, so the battle axe, they actually changed the scaling on it. You can see it's a DD right now, which is kind of like, what? But, um, it has a really badass weapon art that does really well. Were there time elements come into play at all? I think it's mostly just aesthetics. Somebody come and break these things for me. Six, I need a two, five. Um. <clears throat> it's gonna hurt a little. Yeah, I might need to get a little, little something extra. Oh, shit. Well, it's okay. I'm not worried about 66 rooms. Yeah, item durability is gone.
Was there anything you would change? I mean, there's a bunch of stuff I would change. I think there's uh, there's a lot of balance issues right now with how strong certain stuff is compared to others. Uh, there's also a couple like glitchy things from Dark Souls 3 that made it into the game still. Stuff like uh, Estus canceling. Um, I think certain spells are too strong, certain weapon arts are too strong. I mean, there's there's all sorts of uh, of things that need to be changed. So, you know, at the at the end of the day, it's just um, yeah. This is a network test for a reason. Hope there's durability at release. I don't. I really don't. I don't feel, I mean like honestly, what does what does durability add to the experience? It adds nothing. The only time that durability has ever been relevant in Dark Souls uh, is when you are using it to break the gear of people. That's it. Like besides that, what, you know, what is durability good for? Expect a lot more classes at release. This is the amount of classes we have is it's just a couple presets for the network test. Yeah, like exactly. Durability is just annoying. Plus, like nothing's worse than when like you're going through something. And then you're, uh, hang on. you know, you're going through an area and then all of a sudden your weapon breaks and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'm, uh, screwed. Like, that sucks. 8819, that's better. I mean, well, like, a game like, I don't know, say, uh, Fallout or something, I think it makes sense because that's supposed to be, you know, like, apocalypse, weapons are meant to be, like, on the verge of breaking constantly. on staff uh i don't i'm not 100 percent, but i don't believe so they should make mini bosses slightly harder uh i don't know if it's an issue with them needing to be harder as opposed to us being kind of overpowered like think about this look at look at my level i'm level five right 
And at level five, I have 14 vigor, 12 endurance, 16 strength, and 12 dex. Like, what the hell? That's a, that's a lot of stats for level five. Like, a lot of stats. So, I don't think it's an issue that the bosses are, uh, the mini bosses are weak. I think we're leveled. Like, right now, a character with these levels is actually closer to, like, level 20. So by the time we get to level 20, we're actually closer to, like, level, what would be, like, level 40. Ugh, I need a big chunk of smithing stone shards. I need five more shards. Uh, I think I can get some. I'm trying to remember where I got most of my shards. I know you can just farm the giants for them. That might be the best bet. Be a good starting souls game. Yeah, it'll be fantastic. We're gonna be the X Men. I don't know what the perfume arts are for. I don't think anyone does yet. Let's go farm 200k like Peeve did. <laughs> what? How long was he killing shit to farm 200k? What was he farming? I mean, it had to be the giants, I guess. I don't know anything else that you could pull in that kind of souls off of. That's funny, though. Killing a giant gets me back my flasks. And it gets me uh, a shard, which is what I wanted. Maybe closer to you. need a total of, what did I say, five, I think? Weapon arts are very important, yes. Especially for melee. 
weapon arts for melee feel like you're it's like how magic is able to do big nukes now your weapon arts oh god oh shit i can make them damage each other with that jump Weapon arts can do damage that's comparable uh, to magic. Freaking attack on Titan here. It's three. Look at that heavy. That's four. Uno mas, baby. Damn, dude, those heavy attacks are... That's... That's insane. That is, um... Those heavy attacks are on par with how hard we were hitting using our little spell blades the other day. And I like that there's a, a second, oh man. The changes to the attack patterns are really good. Totally should have had like one more second of iframes there. You can run horse and make the giants kill each other. Yeah, I know. We just made one kill kill its friend. So the giants, they don't pull out their sword until they're like halfway dead. Yeah, I'm still not sure what I want to do at launch, to be honest. Like this faith seems really fun now. I like a lot of the spells that Faith had available. Like, it was really cool. Um, the magic build that we were doing yesterday, that also felt pretty good, though. Like, that felt fun. Um, I mean, honestly, like, everything... Everything is just really good now, I feel. For some reason, I thought it would be great if we could climb up and attack the Dragon's Dogma. I don't know if that would have worked well here. I get where you're coming from, but... You know, that's that's something I think we're gonna have to reserve for... Uh, for Dragon's Dogma 2. Alright, let's, let's see if we can just get all the giants to kill each other with their stomps. This might be the most efficient way to farm. See, the problem is, they'll, they'll do that. Yo, I'm standing up, bro! Oh my god, they just did damage while I was on the ground! They, they did almost kill each other there. A grappling hook? I don't think it would fit here thematically, though. Like, I love the grappling hook. Do you think the network test is intentionally made easier? Yes, that's always the case. It was the case with the Bloodborne network test. It was the case with the Dark Souls 3 network test. The network test is not indicative of the final product. I mean, literally, the first thing it says when you turn the game on is like... This is not the final product. Torrent. Let us piss off all the giants. No. No. Oh, Torrent, jump away from its bullshit. 
No! Darn it! Darn it! Jump! Oh, <laughs> shit! Kill each other! Kill each other! Kill each other, not me! This is not as easy as y'all made it out to be. I just need why I should have just killed one. It would have been faster for me to just kill a single giant. Though they are starting to hurt each other a good bit. Under the legs. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now give me this. Yeah, come on, kill kill your friend. Dun 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 no, we're not dying to the stop brigade again. Self-made music? That's just that's just the the like the opening song for Attack on Titan. Soon we will be a man of two axes. Increased stamina. What else do I need? Did that. I got the map already. I want to explore over here. I haven't explored over here. Bloody Wolf for champion? Uh, we're playing Bloody Wolf just because it has a better stat distribution. I don't need my FP flask. Let's go see what's over this way. Birdly flower. You know what madness does if it builds up? Uh, yeah, hang on. I actually have a... I have like a PDF press guide thing that details all that shit. Okay. Um... Do, 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 do. Multiplayer, oh, where was it at? It's in here somewhere. Uh, stakes, bird eye telescope, summoning guidance, map, grace, controls. Okay, um, poison is just continuous damage, red rot, continuous damage, hemorrhage. If you're hemorrhaging, large amount of damage that's based around your maximum HP. It's pretty good for bleed. Uh, frostbite, if you're in a state of frostbite, you'll take damage and become frostbitten for a while. Take increased damage from other sources. Uh, sleep. <clears throat> uh, if you're in a state of sleep, you become drowsy. Weaker characters will fall asleep entirely. If you're in a state of madness, you'll go mad and lose a great deal of both HP and FP. 
and then if you get into a state of death, you just instantly die. What's that strange creature doing? Just hopping around, man. Just being a cool little guy. Okay, let's uh let's get our strength up to like twenty. I'm gonna get you up to twenty. Yeah, madness is very similar to frenzy. I'm waiting on uh Aura sign to show up. So we're just gonna stay we're gonna stay nearby. I think he's in the middle of like a fight. Sleeping on giant drop three stars? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh no, there's this death fall. I probably could have hopped to that ledge and made it down. It's impossible to know what meta is. No, frenzy affects FP as well as health. It's not just health. I literally have the guide from from software that they gave us. Oh, what is the hell about that? There's a oh. what we have over here. Heavy meteorite. See if I can get down. Oh, that's death. That's death. Nope, no swimming. Attacking as you fall does not negate damage. There's either no fall damage or there's critical fall damage now. There's no in between. So when you go to <clears throat> when you go to fall, either it's a fall enough far that you're just dead, or you're just gonna take a hit. I mean, I have seen a couple falls where you take damage but you don't die, but those are are pretty rare for the most part. Usually, it's either like you're fine or you're dead. get down there. Hardcore parkour souls edition. What? Oh, no way. That was not a far fall. I think they just don't want us going down there. I feel like we're just blocked from going down there. Because that was not a critical distance fall no that was like a demon thing or I don't know hang on I don't know let me get close it'll take a closer look uh what is does dex speed up weapon arts no oh shit I think I were dead oh we're skyriming saved by the jank yeah they kind of look like big vampire bats The game will have ultras. Why would they take away weapon types? Come on, y'all. Like, common sense. If it was in a previous Souls game, there's like a 95% chance it's going to be here. I mean, they, they brought back Twin Blade, for, for Christ's sakes. Why would they remove ultras, which have been in the game since Demon Souls? Well, there's a beach that's out to the left.
I'm not sure if that was the one that uh, body was at. No, there are none in the network test. Actually, let's go kill Pumpkinhead real fast. I need Pumpkinhead's helmet. How likely do you think Moonlight Greatsword makes an appearance? Probably 100%. It's been in every Souls game. by murder. Should probably get a summon just to buy a little bit of time. his head. If you hit the head, you get reduced damage. X-Men. Doing X things. Mm. There's one story boss in the network test. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Oh shit, wrong button. Lightning battle axe plus three. Is it everything you were hoping for? Yes. Thank you, Barger. I appreciate you, man. You don't gotta give me 50 bucks for sneezing, but... I... I, I will take it. Reduvia? Long sword. Oh, he's dropping everything. He's dropping his full mule. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, Laura. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. This is ridiculous. Now we have what we needed. Uh, where is it at? Our other battle axe. All right. Well, first we got it. We got to see. These are the uh, blood forms in the projectile blades that force bleeding, carried by noble servants of the Lord of Blood. Um, let's just show y'all some stuff. I mean, I guess I could. I could make the. Uh, could make a power stance video.
So the axe power stance. Boom, boom. Pretty badass. Long swords. Look at, that. Look at the, the stabs and the thrusts in this. Twin blades. Pretty cool. Check that out. I wonder if that's actually like a multi hit. Double ox, double thunder ox. Thunder. The 109 plus 20, that's 129. Uh, that's over 150. All right, we're gonna. I want to try the double, uh, the jump attack with the twin blades, but then we're just gonna be axe man. Kind of build where you go for it when it actually releases. I don't know. I haven't decided. There's a lot of really cool builds, so it's hard to say. That's cool, dude. I mean, they don't do a lot of damage, but the. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Come at me! Oh shit! No match for the axe man. I'm getting, having trouble getting into stance where I hold a single button. Uh, when I hold the interact button, it brings up this pouch menu. So the first thing I would suggest you do is go, uh, go here and make jump triangle instead and then uh change change x to be event action because x is what we've used in like every single souls game to interact <clears throat> so by having triangle suddenly be your interact that's just that's messing you up so then this way when i hold x if i'm holding it if i tap lr1 i'm using that if i tap l1 i'm using that or it pulls up this. This is a, it's like a quick slot. So when I hold up X and then I hit down, that's gonna pull my mount out. Yeah, this is full release, yep. 
not the uh, not the closed network test or anything like that. We just got to go get our armor, and then we're going to do some PVE and invasions and stuff. Breakfast, bacon and eggs, baby. It's dark in the game? You mean like dark sorceries? Yeah, just go watch the magic video I did. I eat giants like you for breakfast. The thing is, like, doing just a regular heavy attack does so much damage compared to, like, trying to dual wield. It's almost like... I mean, dual wielding's cool, but, like, as you can see, the damage... Oh, this asshole. This guy. <clears throat> How much of the world is left? A ton. This is like 15%. Uh, I don't believe dex affects fall height. I know it affects getting knocked off your horse. Anything if I want to have like one axe be lightning and one be magic, that could be kind of cool. And then that way I could abuse those crazy fucking carrion glint blade things. How does poise work? I haven't really tested it enough. Some of the other guys were saying it's it's closer to Dark Souls 1 with like poise thresholds, but I don't know personally. Shit. Yeah, that's so much better. Damn, dude. You want to sit there and be a little bitch? The Rampage of X-Men! Dynasty Warriors for a second. It kind of had that vibe, right? Okay, I want to, um... We need to get high enough that I have mid rolls. All right, we're there. We have mid rolls. Oh shit! I had two twin blades on the whole time too. Uh, put on that. Oh, I can't use this. I need twelve int for it. Ugh. Gross. So I'll use that instead. 
And then I hadn't tried the bow at all. I could use the bow for a little bit. I need arrows, though. I need to make arrows. Bound by hunting beasts. How's your day? Uh, it's pretty fucking good now that I'm playing some Elden Ring. Uh, let's start getting some multiplayer going. Damn, that was fast. All right, let's see what Axe Man can do. Man. Man gives no quarter. Axeman, dun dun dun. Axeman, dun dun dun. I kill your summon. Now I come kill you. Axeman. the boss to focus him. He's trying to get me hit by the boss. I could have used the Thunderbolt, but... I'm gonna be honest with y'all, though. Dual Axes doesn't... It don't feel that good, man. <laughs> Dual Axes kind of... Kind of feels like Dookie. Um... Like, let me, let me see. If I was to one hand... So, this is 176. 171, jeez. 27, 147. Surprising that the bastard swords are doing more. Heavy load. Let me, let me try, uh, uh, let me try double lance. Oh, check that out. Bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba ba. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta go test this. It's not a bug, it's a feature, bro. I challenge you to battle. Oh, that's fucking cool. I have not done that yet. Let me find another guy in a horse. 
So it looks like as long as you're holding that heavy attack, you're just like boom, 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 boom. It's a multi-hit combo, dude. That is cool. Bro, this is kind of silly. Is this game trying to get me to be a... For the Knights of the Realm! Die, peasant! I want to go fight something that's big. I want to, like, try this on a giant and see what happens. Oh, dude, PvP gel. I mean, it would be cool, but I think the problem is, is if we had mounts in PvP, you would just have hosts that they just like take off on their horse and they just run, and that's all they do. It's just run on the horse until they can get to like a boss fog or something. I wanna, I wanna try killing a giant with this attack. That looks fucking annoying. Like that looks really annoying. Like I need to, I need to invade. I need to invade with that. We're gonna try out all the, the weapons. The dragon, yeah, I could try it on the dragon. Let's try the double lance first, just to be obnoxious to people. You thought you were going to have somebody help you with the dragon? Ah! <laughs> Mission successful! I'll drop the balls. Oh, that's pretty funny. I don't, I, I'm not sure I like the sweeps on it. Oh, the twin blades aren't both leveled. Um, the scimitars are... It's a double bastard sword. Hang on, I wanna go get a, I wanna go get a thing real fast. Getting tea bagged by an onion. It's a pumpkin, bro. Do you think there are no combos? How do you think PvP will change? Uh, it's just gonna be like Dark Souls 1 PvP, where poise is king. You expect this to get expansions. I don't know. There's a lot more here. Um, if we do get expansions, I would expect them to be a lot more spaced out. try getting through the wall. I have no interest. I've heard from people that you get through the wall and then it just disconnects you, so. Pumpkin is technically a fruit. I 
I don't remember what the delineation is between fruit and vegetable, but I do know pumpkin is a fruit. Is the deciding factor. I don't know where my magic thing is. I think the magic thing I want is after this boss. Is the test the full map? No. Maybe this thing though. No, that's rejection, that's the faith miracle. Pumpkins are great, man. You ever have like a uh, pumpkin roll? Pumpkin roll is legitimately probably my favorite holiday dessert. And for those of you that are like, what the hell's a pumpkin roll? It's basically, it's pumpkin flavor, but it's like turned into a cake. So it's like pumpkin and cinnamon. And then uh, it's rolled with like a sweet cream cheese. So it's just layers of cake and sweet cream cheese. And it is delicious. The double, uh, the power dancing, man, it reminds me so much of Dark Souls 2. Like, I know everyone always, like, knocks on Dark Souls 2, but power dancing was and always is badass. Yeah, powdered sugar too. Can't forget that. Most important part. Exactly, yes. Very similar to a Swiss roll, but with pumpkin. Well, and cream cheese instead of frosting. Uh, I wanna go here. We're gonna go to get the lake one next, I think. Um... Oh, I can't put my ashes on the axe. The axe can only do Thunderbolt. Oh, man. Um... We're gonna try double longsword. I think if I'm dual stancing, it'll... No, it'll do the lightning. Okay, so I want to swap these guys. The lightning and magic. A warrior of the people. Cut off enemy tails? Uh, not in the closed network test. Probably in the full game, yeah. The golden trees are called Erd trees, and they're somehow like tied into the lore. I don't know exactly how, but I know they're tied into the lore.
Where was the... Hang on. Oh, I went too far. Oh, we got an invasion. This is the bridge. I don't know if I can... Can I get down there this way? Shit, dude. Yeah, trying to hit with the uh, those is really hard. I don't think... Oh wait, did that other guy get sent back? Is it just this dude by himself now? Oh! Oh, he pulled the fucking plug! You little bitch! Who pulls a plug in a network test, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, I wouldn't consider that a gang squad. That's just guys co-oping. You gotta understand, there's a difference between uh, players that are co-oping and a gang squad. So, players that are co-oping, like you said, it's just guys playing through the game together. You know, do your thing. But there are groups where you'll have like three people and those three people will all be gathered up like right at the boss door. And the hope is that when you join into the game, you are getting placed right in front of them. And then they just kill you. And they're not interested in doing the boss. They're not interested in progressing at all. They are just... Um, quite literally, they're, they're just... They're waiting for an invader and hoping to get an invader so they can abuse the invader.
to like these guys, they're actually doing co-op. They think they're going to kill a dragon together. I plan on coming up and trying to touch a butt. No, maybe they're not going for the dragon. They think I'm over here. Little do they know. I'm teleporting to somewhere else. I love that item so much, dude. dragon for you not today sir not today I said <laughs> all it takes is one distraction I mean honestly I think the teleporting thing is great because like most of these invasions are 1v3s or 1v2s most of the time it's 1v3 that teleport that evens the odds up a little bit because they started fighting the dragon and they were like Okay, well, we know the invader's here. He's gonna come from this angle, and then it was like, surprise, I'm coming from behind. I gotta kill this. There should be an NPC invader I gotta kill real fast. Should mean I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? I am. I feel like right around here? Yep, there it is. I wonder if teabagging will be a frowned upon thing. Bro, I would be disappointed if someone doesn't teabag. Like, if you beat me, by all means, drop the balls. This is Dark Souls. I need some stamina. The double long swords is definitely not working as much as I would have hoped. All I want is uh, the summon bro over here. I guess we could go through this just to fight the boss. Actually, well, do I need that summon? I probably don't. I'm not doing a lot of PV. Yeah, I'd rather focus on stats that I need. Like right now, my stamina kind of hurting. Um, should get that to at least like 15. But first, I'm gonna get 25 strength. Uh, let's see. Lightning. Well, the twin blades aren't both plus three. The double bastard sword. They go back to the axe. The twin blades are actually the best strength scaling thing. I would just need to. I need another plus three twin blade.
Why do you think the network test is allowed so few to play? Uh, I think it's allowed, it's allowed a lot of people to play. Are you talking about, like, the times? Because the network times are so that they can maximize the, the load on the network and actually test. more damage two-handed or double we can test it so two-handed one hit 81 damage eighty one damage Have you heard anything about PC Collector's Edition pre-orders? I haven't yet, but I'd assume they'll also do PC. Like, it doesn't make sense that they wouldn't. Um, hang on a second. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. What was that number? I don't even remember what I hit for. 80, 81, it looks like. So that's 101, so I am getting more damage. It's 127 on the jump. 126, so it's about one, so it's probably gonna be 127 most of the time. Kill this thing. And then I think we'll just I don't know. Maybe help people with the boss. Selling codes is stupid. I had four extra codes and I gave them away to other creators that didn't get a code. Like honestly, selling codes is just scummy. I will say charged heavies, charged heavies hit really fucking hard. We can get those things are badass. Like the dual chain hammers. Imagine how fucking cool that would be. Morning, 
Well, the thing with opening it up in general and having it do to everybody, um, <clears throat> so there's there's two things here. One, they wanted to test specifically what their server load is at. So right now they might be testing. Okay, we want to look at server load for uh, I don't I don't know. 50,000 people or something. I don't know how many codes they sent out. I'm just ballparking with a number here, but maybe that's what they're doing. And the thing is, they are, you know, they're, they're, hang on, hold on a second. Let me actually, um, you know what? That's right. I, I know what I'm going to do. I know what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the bastard swords as a backup, but I'll then be magical. Um, so they might have sent out that many codes. And on top of that, the, the hours, as much as I'd love it to just stay open, the limited hours is obviously to try and condense everyone they gave a code to uh, in those times. Now, obviously there is a ton of hype for the game, and if they just released it, they would probably like double or triple the amount of people that are playing right now. But if they're still at a stage where they're trying to you know, basically fine-tune the network capacity and see, you know, how much they, they need. Because what they could do is they, let's say, I don't know shit about servers, like actual numbers, but it could be like they have uh, six full servers in place and they gave out 100,000 codes. And so right now their test is, okay, well, you know, if we are supporting 100,000 people comfortably on six servers and everything is running good, then if we want it to support, uh, you know, 200,000 people, we just need to bump it up to 12 servers. But so they're figuring that stuff out now versus, you know, here you go, it's open to the public and then like half of us can't even get into play because there's like, it's just a sh an amazing shit ton of people that all want to jump in. It's a pumpkin. Is it a workout day? Yeah, sometimes at night, probably. Um, oh yeah, let me put on my thing. favorite part about this game so far uh probably just the world itself i think the world's really fucking cool we're gonna do a pure a melee approach i'm gonna not even use my little summon bros not take a lot of damage from lightning. I might want to go magic instead. Getting 88 from the, the double hit. Uh, shouldn't have tried to change my weapon mid-boss fight there. So I was, I was sitting at 88 there. Can I store? I want to store weapons. Yes, I can. Okay. I have too many things.
I mean, there's honestly, there's nothing I don't like about this. I'm having a blast with this game. Wait, did I put him on? Ah, fuck. And the long swords. Like there's a photo mode, but I don't know. Should have known. I was looking and I was like, oh yeah, hmm. I was like, I have a lot of bastard swords. Yeah, no shit, you have a lot of bastard swords. Oh no. Now I'm down to medium load. Last time you kick boss without any effort with help of summons and magic. Magic's OP, bro. That's why. Magic's super strong in this game. But even if you're not using magic, if you use weapon arts, that makes a big difference. Like when I summon up my wolfies. And I use this thing. Oh shit, so I think that may. That may actually scale with, uh, N. When it doesn't whiff. See, me and the wolves, we got this. Wolf gang. Smoldering with thy meager flame. Cow 
If those, if the wolves didn't get a stagger, I'm not sure he would have died right there. Because we did that, and then I jumped, and I did the follow-up, so that was basically, that was a double stagger. Alright, so what is my equip load? 73.7. Wanna be pumpkin. I need to get up to like 78.6. The double bastard sword. Uh. More strength. Yeah, I need like two more points. Like honestly, I don't I don't mind it. Like I feel that the the summons add a it's a distraction that is going to make things a little bit easier. But it's not an I win button. Like even with the distraction, I got the distraction up and then I used my glint sword and then I just sat there, you know, one critical into a jumping attack into another critical. So that's a lot of uh it's a lot of jumping and, and slamming and shit, you know? So I think when you have that on, it just refreshingly sends your sign anywhere you go. Oh shit. I am dumb. How does a pure 1v1 look? Um, I mean, it, I don't know. We need to get another person in here. If he wants to come in, we can do some get some one v ones going. We only got another hour and a half before the test will end. I need to get more strength. I feel like the I don't know the pools thing. I feel like it should have worked already. You know. between a strength build or sorcery build. I'm probably going faith build. Yeah, I instantly summon putting it there. Yeah, you can have two allies. Oh, shit. They call me the Pumpkin King. The equip load charm? Uh no, but I should get that now that you mention it. That would help. I don't remember where it's at. You do forearm exercises? I mean, I exercise everything. I don't like to go out of my way to... I don't have a need for giant forearms, but...
did it. We did it. Great foe has been vanquished. Woo! I mean, if I do a faith build, it would it would basically end up uh, similar to Biggest. Where is... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I know I've gotten that thing. I don't remember. Let me see if there's, like, anything on Reddit about it. Uh, Elden Ring Equipment Load. See if there's anything. I know I know there's a talisman that does equip logs. I have it on my one character. I just don't know where it is at, and I don't remember. I know it's one of the dungeons, I just don't remember which. I know the Power Stance Katanas. Power Stance Katanas are really good. Power Stance Katanas are scary. Oh, I went to Stormfoot, but I never got the thing, it's funny. Are they here, maybe? I'm gonna hang out in Discord. No, I'm gonna fly solo this one. Since we were bullshitting a bunch last stream, this one I wanted to wanted to have it be more focused on just showing off the game and the world. A little bit of PvP here and there. Yeah, no, I need to go like get the stuff for arrows. I'm trying to remember where the equipment load talisman is. Is it the beach? Probably somebody working on the dragon. Put this on for now. I need to have medium rolls. YouTube boop.
Oh, is he getting his ass beat so he went to summon an ally? Oh, oh we jumped him. Don't worry, cheeks are getting clapped. Summoning another ally? Bro. Yeah, right. Like, sooner or later, you're gonna have to proceed through the game. When you do, that's when I'm gonna come. When you least expect it. Sneak up and touch your butt. Yeah, now, so this, yeah, the back back to that earlier point where we were talking, like, co-op versus gankers. These kids are gankers. He's not, he's not trying to kill anything. He's not playing. He's just, like, waiting for a fight. And then when he gets his fight, he runs away until he has people that'll help him. Which is why I'm going to use all ten of these fingers and just troll the shit out of this guy. Look at him. Like, you know, like, where the fuck did he go? You just saw him over here. I'm just gonna hang out with Mr. Dragon. Yo, bamboozle. What's up, Mr. Dragon? Let's teach these scrubs. City. Oh shit, Dragon got me too. Oh, and it got him too, damn. Meanwhile, the host still hiding like a bitch. Me and all of the summons just died. Where's my uh, souls? I need my souls. No, the fire is not instant death. Dragon fashion. They're weak to lightning, I think. Sometimes that'll happen. Yeah, so with with bosses, um enemies, like NPCs and shit in the world, they won't attack you. But there are certain attacks that are AoE attacks, like the Fire Breath, like the Shield Slam, that will still hurt you if you're an invader.
And the funniest thing is like the dragon's not even that bad. was a little unexpected. That was some fucking uh, fuzzy off hip check bullshit. Yeah, network test is available on everything except for PC. Oh, um, let me, uh... Try these guys. I'm here for your souls. 44 from a double? That's weaker than the X, right? Big difference. Oh. Sometimes a big fucking zug zug is the best plan of action. Sit down! Bah! I feel like two-handing is just better than dual wield, man. Like, power stancing is cool, but this feels so much stronger. No, 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 no! Oh, oh shit, I was trying to jump over the flame, it did not work. Oh wow, if I died to that, bro, that would have been upsetting. Feel the lightning, feel the rhyme. Here it comes, it's Axeman time. The heart of a dragon. Uh, I wish I remember where that thing was. I don't remember where that thing was. It wasn't there. It wasn't there, it wasn't there. Is it from killing Blood Man, maybe? It's in Stormvale? Well, shit. Uh, 
I know I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about, Roy. I go get it. First, I need stamina. Just a little bit of stamina. Fifteen. I can get by a fifteen. Tyler, welcome. For being a booty boy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I do a lot of damage. Like the double the double axe is really cool. But I'm leaning a lot more towards uh just two handing. Just two hand I mean the thing is it's the charge attack. That charged heavy. That charged heavy made me feel like with, you know, waiting for the target and waiting for the right time, I felt like I could hit as hard as magic was using charged heavy attacks with the axe. Whereas with the... Oh my god. Literally like giant hawks with knives attached to their feet. I mean, power stance is cool. It's just, I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't feel it's as strong. You bitch. Oh God. I mean, it's cool for times like that. Let me try like just jumping and, and Zugging on one of these guys. These are just regulars. It's actually a really, really hard thing down here. Where's that guy at? Let me let me try it on you. Is this thing at? I know it's like right around here. Shake it for the camera. There you go. It's in the room with the not nice man. That would make sense. I got three heals. I think we can beat not nice man. Yeah, that's it. I was gonna try. Uh, 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 there we go. We got it on. Come here, not nice man. If I lose this, wait, what am I doing? Die. I will say that is the first time I have actually killed that man on my first attempt. That thing is really hard. So, maybe power stancing is pretty fucking good. 
Sadness. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba ba. Let's go here. Madness makes you lose a bunch of health and a bunch of FP, so it basically just drains all your bars. Um, where? So what is my what is my quit weight at? Uh, with that charm, eighty three. Wow, I could probably put on a uh, fucking shield. Yeah, cool, I could. This shield's better. I need 12 int, and I'm at 7, so that ain't happening. Um, actually, I think the leather shield is better than the iron round. Go check. Are there gonna be rings? There are no rings in Elden Ring, which I know is the joke everyone wants to make. Uh, we have two talisman slots. So, that's it. Wait, well... Goodbye. Uh, guard boost is stronger and it's better against everything except fire and holy, there's holy damage, magic fire, lightning, holy. Interesting. Which this shield looks better with this armor anyway. Alright, uh, so that is about it, I think. Can I also fit a torch? I can't. All right, let's try and do an invade. We're gonna we're gonna balance it. We're gonna do an invasion and then co-op, and an invasion and then co-op. And we're gonna go back and forth between murdering people and helping people as the Axe Man. Oh, cool, we got 2v2. Axeman!
Run, Brandon Frazier! Run! To your death! Like, just fight and die. Like, this dude's so desperate to not die. Like, it's- it's over. Just fucking die. Die with a little bit of grace. God, it's all fun when you have people to help you and now Ugh. Where's this at? Um... Look at him running for his life dude my god gotta be out of heels. Uh, 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 uh. Dropping those balls, nice and tall. Drop them on down. Suck them up with slaw. Uh, 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 uh. He has a lot of money on his line. He sure as hell ran like he did. Dude was like, I don't want to die. No. No, I don't make me die. Not like this. Well, my guess is he summoned the red. And then he summoned the other guy. He was probably trying to do like a fight club type thing, but everyone was just standing around. So I killed his summon and then I'm like, all right, well, I'll kill you. And the other guy was just kind of like, oh, well, I guess I'll let him die. We aren't, we aren't doing the, the game comparison. You can't compare this to Neo. They're two completely different games. This is a large-scale open-world action RPG. Neo is a grind-heavy loot-based game. They are different games, and they serve different purposes. Fun is all you need, bro. All right, no one's picking up my sign. Let's try and invade instead. I'm gonna just keep alternating here. Actually, let me let me put them on. Hey, 
Hey, I got a summon. Plenty of bug style content coming your way. these magical arrows sleep okay i'll test that on things oh we got we got a bad guy oh it's oro ow oro i'm trying to dance with you oh the host is dead damn it we didn't even get to have fun together Uncut short. I like how he's he's going around with a, a fucking buckler and a lance, like oh my god, that's so obnoxious. They're getting fucked up. Oh, you got off a heel? Yes! 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 I got him in front of the fire. Take that, asshole. Oh, that was good. He would have been dead there if the homie didn't tell us out a thing. I'm gonna pee real fast.
is a catacomb area. This guy's world, like his whole world's bad. Yeah, I might try that kind of shit. All those parrying and backstabs work, same as it did in other games. I'll be right back. I think what else we want to do we got an hour <clears throat> um, we've killed giants we've killed the boss we've killed pumpkin head <clears throat> we've killed beast man we've killed the human rat people uh, we killed giant guy we killed the old swingy mace guy weird cat I don't think we killed the crazy dog thing but that's not really a boss So just it's basically just helping people with the boss. Oh, with a black knight? Yeah, we could do him. He's cool. The bottom of the map and the oh, I think that's just art. Yeah, the lion thing is up near the entrance to the game. It's it's fairly it's a fairly difficult fight. The black rider. This guy's kind of cool. Yeah, but there's like a lion that has like giant glaives strapped to its arms. That thing's pretty intense.
Luck rider. Ow! Unnecessary. You wish to challenge me? to challenge me big eye oh shit oh that's bullshit all right you want to be you want to play it like that Shit on the map. Where do I have shit on the map? Oh, it was someone I was invading in that place. Could go kill uh, Blood Boy, I guess. He's. Saying it's like Dark Souls 2? No. You can watch footage. It's very clearly not like Dark Souls 2. Like the only only part of Dark Souls 2 we have is the uh is power stancing. Baby does have blue eyes. The ever channel. If you want to see magic, go watch the previous stream. We did magic there.
Ash of War damage scales with the weapon. I think this guy might be a little too quick for me to pull off uh, power stance. This is going to be a sword and sword and board fight. It's out up here. See, I think, honestly, uh, I think Great Shield Strength builds are gonna be real good. Like, look at, look at the counter attacks I'm doing, bro. Just block, counter attack, block, counter attack. Like, going strength with, like, a big fucking shield, and then slapping on, like, a really hefty one-hander. That might be really, really strong. Because that counter attack is, that's, that's pretty fucking juicy right there. We did you, we did you, we did that guy, we did this guy. There's a dungeon over here I could do, and I think that's it. We did Pass Town. Network Toast Progress don't carry over to the next network test. No, you can save in the network test, but like, if you... Some people are asking if like, what we do here carries to launch, and that's a, a big, obvious no. You know, we, we are not gonna see uh, the progress that we get in a network test carry to launch. That's just not happening. Nobody try sword and uh, sword and board here. Well, sword and axe. I'm gonna try and PvP with that and see how that goes. Uh, no, we'll probably stream some Shin Megami Tensai a little bit later. After this, I need to record some, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, and then if I'm still awake, we'll do a night stream. Oh man, he's getting fucked up. This host might be dead by the time I get over to him. What's going on? Why does he have no health? Oh, this guy got him. Gotta come in and drop the balls. Cause there's like ashes of war you can get for the, the shield. Holy ground's cool. Focus your energy into your shield, hardening it to deflect greater blows. Um, and then, what was I gonna do? I wanted to... I'll just look at it. I mean, who knows, man? There's all kinds of little hidden stuff in here. Like, even when we had a ton of time with it, we were still finding stuff up to the last day.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink, drink and a ball drop. Oh, let me get some salt for that one. I don't know why he didn't heal. Should have healed. I don't give a fuck if he didn't heal. It's an invasion, bro. Suck my dick. There's no rules in invasions. In a home invasion, is somebody gonna break into your house and you're gonna be like, um, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, there's rules about how we do this. No, you don't because it's called an invasion for a reason. You're forcibly entering somebody's world. Don't expect them to play by the rules and you don't play by them either. I just love that we can jump. I'm gonna try and help help a few more people beat the boss before it ends. I might go. Uh, I might try just two-handing and tossing out like big fucking beefy throws. I'll try the bow on a basic enemy. I want to see what the uh, what the sleep looks like. I have one one sleep arrow left. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I might sword and board. Maybe make a sword and board faith guy. Like, basically support miracles instead of offensive nuking spells. And then just a shield and a beefy fucking weapon. That might be. I'm, I'm leaning towards that because this counterattack thing is so fucking nice, man. Um, I will kill this boss for you. As long as you do not die. Foul tarnish. Oh, is this this dude's first time going in? in search of the oh, he ring. did. He's so dead. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. You have Beast Claws getting nerfed? I have no idea what's getting nerfed, man. I'm not from software.
fuck down. Yeah, drop our balls on him. That's right. Yeah, there's a katana in the game. I feel like now that I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like, strength is starting to feel really strong. Like I thought that I was going to go, um, faith with a little bit of dex but i don't know man strength's looking pretty good pretty good so we got about 30 minutes left Is there any one thing you want to to see, chat? What's my weight at? Wow, I'm at point six nine seven. So I'm just barely below to keep medium lobe. That's kind of dope. I have both my bastard sword on, bastard sword and shield, or I can swap to double axe zug zug. Two-handed bastard sword counter. I don't have the stats to show off the the blood daggers. Weapon stats builds, for example, infusing weapons with certain stones and how it's done. We don't have enough information to do something like that. We, we like, have a very... Bow build. Bro, what do you mean bow build? I have 30 minutes. I can't make a bow build in that amount of time. I would need to have upgrade mats. I need to level it up. That's not happening. You're asking me to make an entire new build in less than 30 minutes. We already killed Burial Tree.
I'm gonna find somebody that doesn't have a fucking great shield. Wanna go, you pussy? How do you get back runes if you die? Uh, exact same way you do in any other Souls game, man. Don't get the invading part of the game. Why ruin other players' games? You're not ruining other players' games. You're adding to their experience. Castle Assault? We could. Front Castle sucks. I think we did it. Didn't we do it on the other stream? You there? C come over here. Uh, oh, man. Of going in. I mean, their chat's right, you know, if you don't want to deal with invasions, if you don't like people coming in your game, don't play online. Like, invasions are part of Dark Souls. It's not like... It's not like invasions are just something that's tacked on. Like, invasions in PvP have been part of Dark Souls ever since the Souls formula was established. It is an innate part of the gameplay experience that adds to the challenge in addition to improving the longevity of the game. So, I mean, you know, either you get that and you enjoy it, or you don't get it and, you know, you're salty about it. But neither thing is like, it's not going to change, you know. Invasions are always going to be here. Lion is fast. God damn, he's knocking me on my ass. Oh! Oh god, that hitbox porn straight jumped over the attack and killed him. Oh my god. Oh. What an amazing thing to end with. That was clutch. There is a way to turn off invasion mode. It's called play offline. We we just we just discussed this.
are we on time? Uh, 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 20 minutes. I'm gonna go back to my, my, uh, I think I liked my system of invade somebody and then help somebody and invade somebody and then help somebody. No, I don't know, like, there, there is no discussion here. Invasions have been in Souls since the beginning. If you don't want to deal with invasions, if you do not like people coming in your game, do not play online. I mean, they've already made it so you people can't invade you if you're playing solo in Elden Ring. But the problem is that people want to have it both ways. They're like, oh, well, I want to do multiplayer with my friend, and I also want no invasions. Like, no, it doesn't work like that, dude. Ultimately, you need to understand that if you want to play this game and you want to be online and play it with friends, then invasions are going to happen. And that's that. It doesn't matter if you hate it. It doesn't matter if you don't want it. That is how the game works. If you want a pure co-op experience, there's tons of games that offer that. But an aspect of cooperation in souls because co-op obviously takes away part of the challenge these games are meant to be challenging so if you're pulling in somebody to help offset that challenge it's only fair that the game can introduce an additional challenge in the form of an invader Yeah, like it's all, it's literally always going to be, a, you're always going to have an advantage. The way they have this game set up, unless, uh, unless somebody uses this, the Taunter's Tongue, to make somebody come into their world, you can't even be invaded unless you already have somebody in your world helping you. NPC invaders are already back in the game, yeah. Yeah, and you can get the blue sentinels to help, exactly. Like, if you hate invaders that much, you can literally make it a, a 3v1 situation in your favor anytime an invader comes into your world. And people are still scared of it. It's insane. Anyone from chat need help before this, this test ends? Now we got like 15, 10, 15 minutes, so if anybody in chat has it and they're stuck on a boss, this is the time to ask for help. Map markers do show up on your compass. No. Torches do not have a time limit. When you put your... They just last. And if you have it in the offhand...
You can press L1 and it holds it up. So it goes from like a little bit of light to a lot of bit of light. Which basically means the entire walkthrough series is going to be me doing this. I mean, I've been listed as a blue sentinel all day. I'm just not getting anybody. Oh shit, I heard about this bug. So yeah, there's a bug right now where you could invade people and um, they could be in the boss fight already. Demon Souls, you get souls. It's called runes. You get runes now. Exact same concept. Bonfires are called graces. Souls are called runes. Way with the don't know. Like the only the only co-op change I would like personally is I think uh, I think you should only lose your co-op person after you kill a great foe because these dungeon bosses they are you just shit on them. No, bro, you cannot swim. There's no swimming. Kowataru, let's go, bro. Come on. You do not need three people to beat this thing. Let's go get in there. I was like, the test is ending soon and I haven't killed him. I need to kill him now. I actually think, so it looks like bosses still scale with multiplayer, because when I was fighting this with the, the guy in a duo, that fight was pretty easy, and he has way more health than three of us, so that's good to know. How do you get the dragon runes across the water? All the souls to were strolling to swim there. There's a cave. Cave is like right here. You go through the cave, and then it pops you out on Dragon Island. We got 10 minutes. And 
remember meet the maiden in black? Yeah. You can't get the horse without meeting her. See the monkeys, you know you're close. It's pretty dark in here, but it's easy and fast to get through. And help me when I was down. Why did it help? So, anyway, uh, you kill them, but instead of using this thing to return to entrance, you just keep going through. You'll hit this spot, you just jump. And then you go a little bit more. And ta-da, we're on Dragon Island. And then if you're a real pro player, and you beat the dragon, you can go here and perform the dragon ritual to get the Grail's Roar, which is super strong. And then while you're over here, Sky rip up this fucking thing. And you can get dragon fire. And then you can go this way. And on this side of the island, should be, where is he at? Oh, that was almost bad. Third all, where is our little friend? There he is. And there you go. Now you got a fireball and all that jazz. All right, let's go swim to shore. Oh, look at that, you die. Almost like there's no swimming. And honestly, I blame FromSoft for that, because they put swimming in Sekiro, 
So now everybody is like, well, we, we can we can swim, right? Like, no, we can't swim. I know we had swimming in Sekiro, but you can't swim here. FromSoft got everybody's hopes up by giving us Sekiro swimming, and then they removed it. Alright, it's the last, last five minutes. Let's see if I can help someone kill Margaret the Fell real quick. Because after that, we're done. And this will, this will probably be the last stream. Um, I know the network test is live tomorrow as well, but... Honestly, I, I've, I've had my fill. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to just wait for February now. I feel like I did a lot of good guides. I made videos on stuff that I want. We've done some, uh, some progression type stuff, some streams, lots of PVP, showing off stuff, answering questions. I think we are at, at a spot now where it's just waiting for the launch of this glorious game. Swimming in Skyrim sucks. I like actively avoid water anytime I can in Skyrim. Seeing anyone, let's get some PvP instead. Tempting to invade. We need to find somebody. We need to find somebody. There we go, we got one. We got one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Last invasion of the test. Can we do it? Can Pumpkinhead Man get one more win in his belt? Does your wife get angry when you play so much? Does your wife get angry when you wake up and go to work in the morning? sucks. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get one. I'm hopping back and forth looking for someone. Ever been in a bar fight? No. I've been in a lot of fights. None that ever took place in bars. I'm usually pretty level-headed when I go out drinking. Maybe the servers are like already secretly down. 
Yeah, that too. Bar fights are fucking stupid. Like, bar, bar fights are basically any percent speed run end up in jail. Because as soon as you start fighting in the bar, the bartenders are going to call the cops. Bounce is going to get a hold of you and you're going to leave in a patrol car. Like, either that or you're just going to get thrown out on your ass onto the street and then you're going to leave in a patrol car. Either way, it ends up with you in jail and very sad and your night ruined. So, yeah. Real, you look exactly like me. I mean, I don't know. I may have a few legitimate children out there. Sorry, son. I was never there for you. By your mother, I said hello. I think the network is down. We're gonna try one more. I'm gonna try one more invasion at each catacomb, see if it works. Attempting to invade. No. Give me an invasion. Hey, kitty. Give me an invasion. It's okay, you're here for me. I'd never beaten Dark Souls. I'm glad I've taught you the ways. That was my, that was my uh, hope all along. I'm about to start streaming, gonna be tense. I fight myself for the first time. Nice. Yeah, I think the servers are basically down. Um, let's see if I can get there in time. One last thing to do before, before the servers die. Look at the world. Just look. Look at, at what awaits us in February. And this isn't even the whole thing. Like, what we can actually see with this is maybe like 25%. So we're going all the way up. Beautiful thing over there. These are called Erd Trees. Anyway. We're going to wrap things up here. It's been fun. I feel like we have done everything there is to do here. So... Um, as for later tonight, I might do some Shin Megami Tensai around, like, I don't know, 7, 8 o'clock. It depends if I fall asleep, because I didn't get to take a nap today, so I may just be really tired and not stream, so we'll see. Um, but if I'm awake, I'll probably stream. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Uh, I will catch you all come Monday. I'm not sure. I think what we're going to play then is I got this, uh, this thing. Which I think is supposed to be like a demo of the Assault on Dragon Keep game that's coming out. So we'll probably check that out just to just to see, you know, what it's about if it's good. Should be fun. Behind the green screen. But anyway, we're wrapping this one up. I'll catch y'all next time. Adios.